Time event in Cleveland is coming to Cincy. Tequila Fest Cincinnati is set for July 22nd in Fountain Square from 7 to 11. Here to talk about what your ticket will get you and why it's about more than just having a good time is founder Adam Bossen. Welcome. Thank you, Ryan. So why are you bringing this event from Cleveland to Cincinnati? We, uh, we started Tequila Fest uh, about six years ago in Cleveland. This started out as a coming out party for a new tequila company. Mm. Uh, 50 people first year, real small. Over the years, it keeps growing and we keep changing venues. And this past year, we finally uh, hit the 1500 person marker. And what we keep hearing from people is they've got family and friends out of town and they want to know if there's going to be a tequila fest a little bit closer to them. So uh, myself with uh, my director of operations and a couple other gentlemen, we decided it's time to take this thing on a bigger scale and we're going to start popping around from city to city and, and kind of go national with it. You know, usually when I have tequila, my nights don't end well. So <laughs> how do you uh, manage how much tequila people get? How do you keep everything in, in you know, control? Well, it's, it's, it's important for us to have an, an extremely uh, responsible and safe environment. So when we originally started doing this, it was more of a free for all. And as you could tell, sometimes things get a little bit uh, silly and out of control. Right. Uh, so we've toned it down, made it a little bit more responsible. We offer sample tickets. You get a total of 12 sample tickets. Works works out to approximately six ounces of premium tequila. Uh, more than enough for most individuals. A lot of times people don't even use all their sample tickets, but it keeps it more of a controlled environment and uh, where people are going to be safe and, and nothing bad is going to happen. But you know, when people, they, they start drinking, they like to eat. Will you have food out there? Sure will. We, when we do our tequila festivals, we like to, uh, we believe in that whole local uh, approach. So we are working with a restaurant down in the Cincinnati area called Mazunte. Uh, they have a small restaurant and they do catering on the side. So they'll be supplying all of our tacos, uh, a guacamole bar, a salsa bar, um, and all kinds of stuff like that. So there'll be plenty of snacks, plenty of food. Um, so we'll be able to keep everybody fed while they're drinking as well. And this event will help a local charity. You, you pick a, a new one every year. Yeah, that's correct. Um, for me, I'm very partial to animals, so I have a tendency to look in that direction in the beginning. So this year, we are partnering with a, a company, a charity called Adorable. They are a pit bull rescue center here in the Cincinnati area. Uh, they'll be handling our check-in as well as our 50-50 raffle. So if you see people walking around with the adorable uh, t-shirts on, you can buy raffle tickets from them, and then we'll pick the winner towards the end of the evening, and someone will walk away with a little bit of money. How much will this cost? And if people want more information, where should they go? It's on the screen right now. Yeah, if, you, uh, if you're looking to buy tickets, uh, you can buy them at tequilafestcincinnati.com. Uh, uh, all the information is there, where it's going to be at times, who's playing, what you get with your ticket, all that good stuff. Uh, we do have a limited amount of tickets, and like our other previous events, they do sell out. Uh, so we do expect this one to sell out as well. So uh, procrastination is not always your best friend right now. So we do suggest people buying now than later. And you'll probably need your Uber uh, app nearby and taxi and all of that. Yeah, well. we actually work with another uh, uh, service like that. They're called Lyft. Okay. Um, and we have a code called Taste CLE. Okay. Um, like I said, we're a, a Cleveland-based company, so we had that set up. So if you're looking for uh, something along those lines, you can use Lyft, obviously Uber as well. We also put together a group rate with the Hilton, uh, which is right across the street. They gave a great rate. So if you're looking to get a hotel room and just make it a weekend, you can do that too. Okay, thank you so much for being here, and good luck to you on your event. Thank and you. Here's a